Natural Resources and Indian Heritage 4.1 Air, Water and Soil Stack Manana Resources that are present in the environment and have not been bought by any human activities are called as natural resources. These resources are useful for mankind. Natural resources can be ca- classified as of two types. Renewable, Non-Renewable uh, Renewable, available, uh, available continuously in nature. Solar Energy, Wind Energy, etc are examples. Non-renewable energy uh, available in limited quantities and may get upfished. Example, uh, fossil fuels like coal, uh, petroleum, etc. The important natural resources are air, water, land, so forest, for, for, forest, fossil fuels, solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric sources, mineral deposits, etc. So the, uh, so, the resources that are present in the environment and not by human activities are called natural resources. There are two types of natural resources. They are renewable and non-renewable. Renewable are like uh, which are pre- present continuously and won't ever get uh, won't ever get finished. But non-renewable are like the ones which will get finished up after some use. So now we will go with 4.1 air, water and soil, air and atmosphere. Air is present all around us. We cannot see it, but we can feel its present. Leaves rustle, clothes sway and the clothes line, branches of trees move because of the movement of air. The thick blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere. Uh, The mixture of several gases, mainly nitrogen, carbon dioxide, oxygen, hydrogen, etc., Atmosphere makes the hot uh, etc. The atmosphere makes the earth hospitable for all living organisms. It protects us from harmful and ultraviolet rays of the sun. It also keeps the, uh, helps to keep the earth warm by trapping the heat of the sun. The, the atmosphere is held around the earth by earth's gravity. The atmosphere is divided into five layers. You can see this picture which is highlighted. Uh, it's you can see the exosphere, thermosphere, neosphere, uh, thopho, uh, trophosphere, etc. You can see all the uh, uh, layers of the Earth's atmosphere and uh, and uh, like it's a quick view. Now let's go towards the layers of the atmos- Earth's atmosphere. Troposphere is the first layer about the Earth's surface and all the weather changes take place here. It extends from up to 16 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Stratosphere is an important layer as it contains uh, uh, ozone gas that uh, uh, absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and protects us from the harmful effects. It extends from 16 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The myosphere uh, prevents small rocks and small rocks and meteors from reaching the Earth's surface. It extends from 50 to 85 kilometers from the Earth's surface. The thermosphere is the fourth layer. It uh, 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 where may satellites and space shuttles orbit the Earth. It, it extends from 85 to 600 kilometers above the Earth's surface. You can see the thermal thermosphere here, like the where the clouds will form. Now we will see exosphere is the fifth layer. It is the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Now the components of the air. You can see the you can see that there is a small diagram here which shows uh, the amount of oxygen, uh, nitrogen, etc. We can see that uh, the oxygen uh, the nitrogen is 78 percent. The most of the air most mm, the most part of the air. Uh, oxygen is 21 percent. Uh, it is a little part. The other gases whatever is there. The hydrogen, carbon dioxide, etc., are like in the one percent. Uh, All the other gases, gases such as argon, 0.9 percent, neon, hydrogen, helium, ozone, and carbon dioxide, 0.3 percent. Water vapor is also present in the air. The air is humid when there is more water vapor in it. The uh, the air is dry when there is less or no water vapor in it. The amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity. It varies from one place to another. Air also consists of dust, particles and smoke. Too much dust and smoke leads to air pollution. Smoke and fog combined form smoke. Smoke affects visibility. 
the uses of air almost all living organisms live uh, need oxygen to survive they take in oxygen from the air to, in the process of breathing the oxygen also supports burning nitrogen is an essential nutrition for plants and other organisms but they cannot take it they are nitrogen present in the air special bacteria in soil control converts the nitrogen in the air form that can be used by the plants from plants the nitrogen re reach reaches other organism right nitrogen does not support burning such thus it helps control fire hence it helps control in fire the f plants need carbon dioxide along with water minerals and sunlight to make food all the other organisms either di either directly or indirectly depend depend on the food b prepared by plants moving air is called wind wind energy is also a natural resource the wind helps parachutes gliders gliders and kites to move it can push shell boats sail boats the wind helps the clothes to dry the wind uh, can also turn the blades of the wind will to draw water or generate electricity the of the air the, uh, the air is colorless odorless and it is present everywhere so the air is colorless and it does not have any smell so mm, the air occupies space it has weight uh, the air can be compressed example ball tires etc have compressed air in them air exerts pressure air is need for burning air expands heating on and raise a uh, on heating uh, and rises up hot air balloon work on this property of air okay now we are to the self test one in which layer of atmosphere is ozone layer present so we are is ozone present we know this uh, that the ozone layer or, or the ozone is present in the p which is stratosphere let's highlight yeah then second of all second question a uh, wish of these gases is present in the air that cannot be used directly by plants and animal which is nitrogen we know this because some kind of bacteria helps uh, uh, helps it for the plants and the plants we we the plants is uh, like is all the animals are dependent on plants so it is c nitrogen okay now d which of these gases are present in the air do not support burning burning we know that uh, oxygen does support burning but carbon dioxide and nitrogen do not support burning so d both b and c is the right answer next is which of the following property of the air is uh, used in the given figure air exerts pressure air has weight air occupies space air is need for burning we know that this is air exerts pressure because we are mm, because in this the uh, the girl is drinking some juice and in this the property of air is air exerts pressure so let's highlight yeah component of air used for making food by plants is present in the air which for, what is the percent in the air 78% as we know is uh, nitrogen and 21% is oxygen 1% is all the other gases all the other gases whereas 0.3% is the carbon dioxide let's highlight 